you're sitting at home and you don't know what to do with your day job or your search for a job, you're forced to be um, that much more, um, it, it's creativity and it's a lot of guts. Minnesota is really rich with this potential sort of growth of entrepreneurial spirits from communities that we don't always think about. A lot of times when we talk about new Americans in Minnesota, you know, they tend to be classified as refugees or migrant workers in some literal sense, but actually they're, they're doing essentially what the American dream is about is, you know, immigrants coming to this country, starting from scratch, um, being creative enough and risk, risky enough um, to, to build their own life. It made me want to come back home so that we can start to unpack and examine ways that women and women of um, immigrant communities are re-injecting some vibrancy into the economy. There are so many, in my, in my case, uh, in my community, so many young Somali, um, Liberian, um, Kenyan, Ethiopian, Eritrean, immigrant communities here with daughters that are excelling and they're pursuing their master's degrees and they're getting these jobs and then they decide they want to actually build something for themselves and for their communities. As a, as a state, if, if you get one woman to open uh, a store, it's going to serve not just her or her family, it's going to go into the whole town. Minnesota's put itself on the map as, as a real hub of not just immigrants, but Americans that are doing so much for the country and for their respective, you know, countries of origin.